Welcome back to DIY Made Easy. This is the second video in my series on home assistant helpers. If you haven't watched the first one yet, I recommend starting there to get a solid foundation. In this video, I'll be diving into three more powerful helper types, the counter, timer, and date time helpers. These will take your automations to the next level by adding tracking, scheduling, and timed actions to your smart home. Let's get started. All right, let's dive into another powerful home assistant helper, the counter helper. This tool is great for keeping track of event counts in your smart home. Unlike a simple toggle or number helper, a counter stores and increments values dynamically, making it perfect for automations that need to respond to usage patterns or thresholds. Let me show you a practical example. I have a sensor on my fridge door, and I want to be alerted if the door is open too many times, since that's not very energy efficient. To set this up, I go to Settings, then Devices and Services, and navigate to the Helpers tab. In the bottom right, I click Create Helper and select Counter from the list. I'll name it Fridge Door Counter, set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum to 50. I'll leave the step size at 1 since I want the counter to increase by 1 every time the fridge door is opened. Now let's display this counter on my dashboard. I go to the Helpers dashboard I created in the last video and enter Edit Mode, by clicking the pencil icon in the top right. Then I click the plus button to add a gauge card. I delete the default entity and select fridge door counter as the entity. I'll set the minimum to zero and the maximum to 20. To add some visual impact, I enable define severity and configure it so that when the count reaches five, it turns green, at 10, it turns yellow, and at 15, it turns red. Now I have a gauge that visually represents how many times the fridge door has been opened, but for this to work, I need an automation. I go to Settings, Automations and Scenes, and click Create Automation. For the trigger, I select Entity State, then choose my fridge door sensor as the entity. In the To field, I set it to On, so the counter increases each time the door is detected as open. Next, I add an action, Counter Increment, and select Fridge Door Counter. I save this automation and call it Fridge Door Opened. Now if I go back to the dashboard and open the fridge door, the counter starts incrementing. When it reaches 5, the gauge turns green, at 10, it turns yellow, and at 15, it turns red. But there's one problem. If we don't reset the counter, it just keeps going. So I need to create another automation to reset it daily. I go back to Automations and create a time-based automation that runs at midnight. For the action, I select Counter Reset, then choose Fridge Door Counter as the entity. I save this and name it Reset Fridge Counter. Now every night at midnight, the counter resets to zero, so I get a fresh count each day. If I manually trigger this action, the counter resets back to zero. Now if I check the dashboard, I can see that the counter has been cleared, and as soon as I open the fridge door again, the counter starts incrementing just like before. The last thing missing is an alert when the fridge door has been opened too many times. To do this, I create another automation with a numeric state trigger. I set the entity to fridge door counter, and in the above field, I enter 10. For the action, I choose announce and set the target to my home assistant voice assistant. I write a message like, the fridge door has been opened too many times, then save it. Now, when I check the dashboard and see the counter going up, once it reaches 11, I'll receive a voice notification. The fridge door has been opened too many times. This is just one way you can use the counter helper, but there are plenty of other possibilities. Tracking how often a motion sensor is triggered, counting button presses, or even monitoring appliance usage. Now, imagine I forget my fridge door open. It happens to the best of us, but leaving it open for too long wastes energy and can spoil food. Thankfully, there's a perfect home assistant helper to prevent that. And just so you know, I'm using the fridge as an example, but this can work for anything. The front door, back door, windows, garage door, you name it. 
Timers in Home Assistant are great for managing delays and tracking how long something has been running. Unlike a basic countdown or scheduled automation, a timer helper gives me full control. I can start it, pause it, cancel it, or even trigger actions when the timer finishes. Let me show you how I set this up. First, I go to Settings, then Devices and Services, and open the Helpers tab. I click Create Helper and select Timer from the list. I'll name it Fridge Door Timer and set the duration to 10 seconds for this demo. Of course, in real use, I'd set it to something more practical, like five minutes or more. Then I hit Create. Now I want to add it to my dashboard. I enter Edit Mode, click the plus button, and add an Entities card. I remove the default entities and add both the fridge door sensor and the fridge door timer. This way I can see if the door is open and if the timer is running. I hit Save. Right now the dashboard shows that the door is closed, the sensor is off, and the timer is idle. But I need to set up an automation to start the timer when the door opens. So I go to Automations and Scenes, click Create Automation, and set the trigger to Entity State. I select the fridge door sensor and set it to trigger when it changes to on. For the action, I select timer start and I choose my fridge door timer. I hit save and name it start fridge door timer. Now back on the dashboard, if I open the fridge door, the timer starts. And every time I reopen the door, the timer resets. Next, I want to receive a notification when the timer finishes, so I create another automation. This time I set the trigger to manual event. I enter timer finished as the event type and specify the fridge door timer in the event data. I'll leave this in the description. To make sure I only get notified if the door is still open, I add a condition entity fridge door sensor state on. One thing I didn't mention before, this value may be different depending on the sensor you're using. It might be open. For the action, I choose announce and set it up to use my Home Assistant voice assistant. I type in a message like, warning, the fridge door has been open for too long. I hit save and name it, fridge door open too long. Now back in my dashboard, I can see that if I open the fridge door and leave it open, the timer counts down, and when it finishes, I get a voice notification. Warning, the fridge door has been opened for too long. But there's one issue. If I open the door and then close it before the timer finishes, the timer keeps running. That's not what I want. I need it to cancel if the door is closed in time. So I create one more automation. For the trigger, I choose Entity State, selecting the fridge door sensor again. And for the state, I choose Off. Then for the action, I select Timer Cancel and choose my fridge door timer. I hit Save and name it Cancel Fridge Timer. Now back in my dashboard, I can see the final setup working. If I open the fridge door, the timer starts, but if I close it before the timer finishes, the timer stops immediately. With this setup, I can make sure I never forget my fridge door open again. And like I said before, you can use this for any other door, window, or even appliances where you need a time-based reminder. You can also use it to bathroom fan auto shut off, turn off the fan after a set time to save energy, Lights auto off after inactivity. Automatically turn off lights if no motion is detected for a while. Laundry done notification. Set a timer based on washing machine vibrations and get notified. Child screen time limit. Automatically turn off a TV or gaming console after a set duration. Now let me show you another incredibly useful helper, the date time helper. In Home Assistant, this helper is perfect for scheduling and automating tasks based on specific dates or times. Unlike setting fixed schedules directly in automations, this lets me adjust the timing dynamically without having to edit automations every time. I actually made a video where I created a smart alarm clock using this helper, along with a few others. With it, I can easily set my wake up time using custom buttons, turn the alarm on or off, and even choose how I want to wake up. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend checking it out. Now let me show you how this helper works. I go to the helpers tab, Click Create Helper and select Date and or Time from the list. I name it Wake Up Helper, set it to Time, and hit Create. Next, I add it to my dashboard. I enter Edit Mode, add an Entities card, remove the default entities, and select my Wake Up Helper. I hit Save, and now I have an input where I can set whatever wake up time I want, but I need an automation to actually use this time. 
I go to the Automations tab, hit Create, and set the trigger to Time and Location. Instead of choosing a fixed time, I select Value of Date Time Helper and choose my Wake Up Helper as the entity. For the action, I add an announcement, select my Home Assistant voice, and set a message like, It's time to wake up. I save this automation and name it Wake Up Time. Now back in the dashboard, I can set any wake up time I want. And when that time arrives, I'll get a voice alert. It's time to wake up. But this helper isn't just for alarms. There are so many ways to use it. Custom schedules for home appliances. Automatically turn devices on or off at specific times. Reminders and notifications. Get notified about important events. Scheduled lighting and security. Improve home security by controlling lights based on time. Time-based door locking. Automatically lock doors at night for added safety. With this helper, my automations become much more flexible and dynamic, and I can adjust schedules without modifying automations manually. And that's how you can use the counter, timer, and date time helpers to create smarter and more dynamic automations in Home Assistant. The counter helper lets you track how often something happens. The timer helper is perfect for managing delays and running timed actions, and the date time helper gives you full control over scheduling events without having to edit automations manually. By combining these helpers, you can automate routines, improve energy efficiency, enhance security, and make your smart home even more intelligent. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. I'll be making the third part of the helpers video series soon, where I'll cover even more useful ways to improve your smart home. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.